Cold water swimming has experienced a boom in recent years and the benefits could go beyond just getting fit. Paul Reese reports. A cold, rainy summer in northern England is no deterrent for these swimmers, when the whole point of their sport is to get out of their comfort zone. This five-kilometre swim in a Yorkshire lake is part of a weekend of races in which hundreds of people took part. It's just nice to get out and be in the natural environment and just get to uh, experience something different from the day-to-day -day of sitting on the couch. I'm used to swimming in indoor pools, but I get a different sensation when I'm in like the open water, you feel more free. They may be amateurs, but their dedication in some ways isn't far from that of the professionals. There seems to be something about swimming in these murky depths. The world's top athletes are competing in the pool in Japan at the moment, but in much of the world, it's in places like this that the sport of swimming is really booming. 15 seconds! Surveys have suggested the number of people going for a wild dip in the UK doubled between 2016 and 2019, and then rose again when pools were closed during the pandemic. It's meant a huge demand for wetsuits as well. But for some, keeping warm in the cold takes away from the true benefits. By this waterfall in the mountains of the Lake District, Emma Corrie puts her training in the Wim Hof method into practice. It's a way of breathing to help the body withstand the cold, popularised by a Dutchman known as the Iceman. It's an adaptation to anything that you might find fearful. You can control your breathing, it helps calm the uh, heartbeat, the blood pressure, it opens up your veins and arteries, it's a really good cardiovascular workout. Being in the mountains means that these Wim Hof disciples bathe in water that is colder and cleaner. But the UK is also a case study for the dark side of open water swimming. Some water companies dump sewage straight into rivers and seas, pumping waste for a total of 1.75 million hours in 2022 alone. Campaigners say three quarters of UK rivers pose a serious threat to health, let alone the cost to aquatic life. But for these swimmers at least, the law of nature is enough for now to make up for whatever humans have done to it. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Castle Howard, Yorkshire.